happy Monday, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, I am going to be sharing with you a book haul, and I'll be back to let you know all about it. Welcome back, everyone. This morning, I'm going to be sharing with you some beautiful books that I got. I'm going to start with Costco first, and then I'm going to move on to the next haul. This is the first book that I picked out at Costco. Absolutely beautiful. It's Oceans, and I love the turtle on the front cover. And this book is super thick. It gives you a description exploring the amazing, amazing underwater world. And it is so beautiful. There are so many wonderful things. It would take me forever to show you every page. But I just want to... You know, it talks about the common seal, the harp seal, the gray seal, Mediterranean monk seal. It goes through all of the animals in the sea. And absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful photography. Absolutely loved this book. Mason will love this page because it's all about sharks. And it just goes through. There's just so much to see. And like I said, the photos are gorgeous. Common Muscle. This is a pretty cool Polar Oceans. I thought that was beautiful. It's all dark on the side. So I'm. this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Can't say enough about it. The illustrations, the photos are absolutely so lifelike. You will love this book. You can never go wrong with this. It is amazing. So pretty. Waves and Tides. Thinking about tide pools when I seen that. And this talks about weather and destruction. And wow, this is totally amazing to me. It is a volcano. It's huge. And tsunamis. It just talks about the ocean floor, um, light and sound in the ocean, the chemistry of the seawater. Gorgeous book. Beautiful, beautiful book. You need to check this. I think this was $13.99. The next book I got is called Bi Bio Creation Jungles, and it says Create Your Own Tropical Rainforest, includes 139 model pieces, and this book is super cool. Gives you the contents that are in here, all the different animals that are in the rainforest. It goes through, talks about them, shows you beautiful illustrated pictures. It's so beautiful. I love this book, too. So it goes through, shows you these jungle riches, spiders and scorpions, just beautiful animals in danger, cats, all the different cats that go there, just gorgeous pictures, hummingbirds, beautiful, all the sloths and the anteaters, ooh, frogs and salamanders, cool book. And then I want to show you the back. In the back, you open it up and it has your puzzle pieces to build your rainforest and it is gorgeous so we'll start with this and this is animals then you start and you start building your tree let me make sure you can see these so cool and neat i love this i cannot wait to build this with my children how gorgeous and leave this on display and i will post a picture of this once we create this but it has several different pages to it um, to that. So that is the second one I got. The next one I got are some great artists. And the first one, and I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correct, but I'm going to try. Gus Stoff. And the last, and his last name is Klimt. And it is gorgeous. And so I'm excited. And these books come in two volumes. So you get the book, and then you have, I'll show you how it comes. So first you have your beautiful book. And it has all the beautiful, beautiful. It's got timeline in the back. It's got great information. Further web pages you can go to to find out and get all the information. Further information on the drawings are just beautiful. Very interesting. Some I may not show my children. Um may not be what I would like them to see, but others are absolutely beautiful, like that one I just passed very quickly. Some of these um, 
I will not um, show to my children. Um, other ones I will because they're beautiful. And then in here, this is the poster collection and absolutely gorgeous pictures. There are um, eight pictures of each and they are the ones. They're really made nice, heavy paper, beautiful, beautiful photos. So we'll do those and then this one. So there's just a couple that there was some kind of risque pictures in there and I will not go over those with my littles and I just don't expose my kids to things like that though it is in the world um, I try to be selective and careful what I show them and then the next one just like this one is on Claude Monet and absolutely the covers are beautiful within themselves and I want to think that these were $16.99 so here's the actual, um, the book that you get. Nice hardcover book. And just like the other, it has all the different pictures. It's got great information, a timeline on all his artwork and all about him in here. And then it describes each picture, how the picture got its name, the location, and just great, beautiful paintings. Absolutely love this one. This one, all the pictures were fine. The other one I wasn't aware of. Um, him doing some of those paintings. So, like I said, I'll just have to be careful when showing my children. And um, I love, of course, this is a very famous painting. And I absolutely love this. And that is what is on the cover. And then this one also came. Let me take this one out. Whoa, I got it stuck the wrong way. Comes with the poster collection. It kind of reminds me of Charlotte Mason's. Um, her picture studies and stuff and her artists and composers they got she's got gorgeous pictures so these are nice little posters you can um, whatever picture you're talking about you can display this in their classroom you can talk more about it you can get further information and just kind of discuss this you know in a deeper um, conversation than um, just and, you know, studying the picture, depending on the level of your child, because there's great information on each one of these. So those are the books I got at Costco. The next haul is from Usborne Books, which I absolutely love. And I am going to start you out with Usborne Ideas, Big Book of Things to Draw. And we love drawing and we love art. So I thought this would be a perfect book. Talks about, gives you steps and things you can do. And whether it's oil pastels or whether you're using um, brush branches or pens and ink. And it just gives you different ways how you can form the different body parts, what you need to do first. And it is just gorgeous. I really loved this too. And so much great information and wonderful um, paintings that you can make with your children. And whether they want to use chalk or oil it does not matter and I like the shading I like how it goes through all the different effects this talks here about the adding the shading around the nose to kind of give it a richer more distinctive look so I was really happy with that and then animal characters this was cute so this is going to be a fun book brush and ink drawings mix mixing the ink bamboo so fun drawings we will do some of these and I love the watercolors that's one of my favorite parts of art so that's one of the books we got. The next one we got are Knights and Castles, and it's an activity book. And Mason is loving anything army, anything with knights and castles. So I thought this would be perfect. Um, actually, last year we did um, the Middle, um, Middle Ages, and so we did a lot of things with castles. But he was so intrigued by it, I thought I'm going to get him this year um, this book. And we can go through some of this and talk about... Um, different things, the different time periods on our timeline. I got him a special timeline book. So I know by Usborne that he is going to love doing this. And he loves like looking for things. And it talks about counting chickens. And then you do dot to dot and drawing a castle. So just a lot of great things. Stickers and up high. And like castles are on high, are on high grounds where it's easier to keep safe. Enemy soldiers want to climb the hill and attack the castles. Can they reach it? And it gives you questions to ask. So critical thinking. So I just thought this was a really cool, fun book for Mason. He will really enjoy it. So we are going to do that. Also, 
<clears throat> I have lost my mother and sister and brother in a very close time frame within a three year period. And we had lost somebody else in our family, uh, an auntie. And of course, we always want to know wh why do things die? And sometimes it's really hard to answer that with children. You know, why do they die? My camera looks a little bit crooked. Sorry about that. Why do things die? And it, it is hard for five-year-olds to understand that. But this takes you, why do things die? All living things die as part of life's natural pattern. And it's got all the different flips, which I don't want to open because Mason loves to do that. Is it okay to talk about dying? What happens when someone dies? Can I shout and cry and hide away? How can I stop being sad? Happy memories. And I love that because we always want to look back and have our kids go back to the wonderful things they remembered about a person or a pet and talk about those things because that always seems to make things just a little easier for us to deal with. So I thought this was a sweet book for me to share with my daughter and my son. The next ones I got are a little coloring and these, this is on gardens and I thought these were super cool. I like the big pictures, and Mason can go in and color those any color he would like. And it kind of says, a tree is red and orange in the fall. A tree is green in the summer, so it gives him ideas. A bat flies at night. A butterfly flies in the day. It's just kind of fun. So I like this one about the garden. The next one I got like this is for Christmas, and it goes through, and it gives you different Christmas pictures. And I ordered it now because when I don't order things, they never have them when I would like them. So I thought these were really nice. I like the big pictures, and Mason will enjoy doing these. And he can color or paint them either way. The next book is different, Being Different. And I love this book. I read this book, and it is so cute. It's about this flamingo, and he just goes through all different scenarios. I don't want to give it away if you want to get it, but it's got the cutest pictures and just says the cutest things. And the main thing is I'll give you the last page. Thanks to her friends, Flo thought she was very lucky to be different. And how sweet is it? Because we are all different. God made us different. He made us that way. The next one is Pilot Academy. And this has stickers, posters, press out model. And Mason, like I said, Army. And this, as I see, is where they punch this out. It's got model. It gives you the assembling instructions. It's got your um, poster. It's got stickers in here, talks about all the different things they have to do, what the crew does, taxiing, everything. Design on an airport, flight planning, knowing your airplane, um, aircraft radio. It just goes through tons of stuff. And because Mason loves airplanes, flying, I know he'll really enjoy this. We're going to do things on land, air, and water. And so this is a book we'll use when we're talking about air. The next one is White Clean Ready for Reading Phonics. And I really liked this book. I've seen it and I went ahead and ordered this because Mason is working on his upper and lowercase letters, phonetic sounds. We're learning um, to write our letters and we're working on CBC words. So this I thought would be perfect and I like, I love their books. They're really nice, heavy, laminated and you just wipe them clean. So it's got games, and it's got critical thinking, and it's got matching and recognition. So I thought this would really, letter recognition, this would be really good for Mason. The next um, book I got is In the Wild Activity Books. And activity book. And this one I picked out because for geography, we're talking about, um, we're using our subscription box my zoo box and we're talking about animals from all different continents and I just thought this would be perfect because it talks about different animals and different locations and where they're found and there's painting and stickers and there's just so much stuff to do in here so I thought this would go along perfectly with our geography so there you go and Mason loves anything animals the next one I got is Across the USA activity book. And I got this because we're doing U.S. history. And I just wanted him to know and be familiar with the different locations and places. And there's all kinds of um, hide and seek. The bald eagle it talks about. National capitals. Um, all different things. 
where they're located, where you can find them, places you can travel, where you've been, what you'll see along the way. Talks about different states, different time zones, just so many, so much great information on the USA. So I thought perfect book for this year. So I loved that one also. And this is one that we will do um, as a family during morning basket because it's fun to do them together. The next one is lift the flap questions and answers about recycling and trash. I always do um, a unit study on recycling trash, keeping our earth clean and usually around um, Earth Day. So I was excited to see this book. I got a lot of them, but I did not have this. So I went ahead and picked this one up to go along when we do do that unit study. Um, it is so important to teach our children to take care of the beautiful earth that God gave us and um, what we can do to help and how we can recycle and and how we recycle and then what we can do. It comes with over 60 flaps in here. So there's several different flaps, but so much great information that I think children need to know. And we need to be an example of um, recycling, renew, and reuse. So great book for that. Then I got three books on Halloween. The first one is Halloween Magic Painting Book, and we love painting, so I just thought this was cool. And like I said, I got this now because it won't be there at Halloween when I go to get it. And it's just got some really cute pictures. Mason loves these. It comes with a little paintbrush. I really like that one. Then we have Usborne Little Children Halloween Activity Books. And book. I want to keep saying books. I'm sorry. And it just talks about different things and um, you're guessing, you're drawing lines, you're doing mazes, it's you're, you're drawing, you're finding things, you're um, spooky swamp. Can you find eight monsters lurking in the steamy swamp? So you go through and there's just so many activities you can do. And I just thought, what a fun activity book to have for the Halloween season. So I thought it would be fun and Mason will really like it. Loves Halloween. And then I got the Wipe Clean Halloween Activity. And um, this has activities in it that he can redo. So it's like party time, pumpkin party, trick or treat, getting ready, party decorations, making and baking, and then pumpkin hunt, and then windy walk, and then just the beginning of it. So I thought, how fun to get the Halloween books now, because like I said, they won't be available when you really want them. So I just wanted to go through, share these with you. This was a fun haul. I love Osborne. I love Costco. We love books. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, go ahead and click and click um, or give me a big thumbs up. Then click subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm doing other videos. And thank you for sharing part of your day with us. And may God richly bless you. And may you all be safe. Bye-bye.